So Kamala decided to try and clap back at Tulsi. Of course, she wanted to do, you know, like a like a like one of those internet bullies. They talk all that trash when they're on the internet, and when the person walks away, and then when they walk back up on them, they don't got much to say. Tulsi dragged Kamala on the stage. Kamala decided she wanted to call, finally say Tulsi's name. You know, finally. She didn't want to look at her in the eye on the stage. We want to finally say Tulsi's name when she's in front of Anderson Cooper and protected by CNN. Wanted to smear Tulsi as an Assad apologist. Oh, Kamala. Ah, man. I don't know if you've noticed this about Tulsi, but that's not the game you want to play with her. Because... Well, Tulsi just wants all the smoke. All of it. So get away for this. As the elected attorney general of California, she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. And I am proud of that work. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And I am proud of that work. Innocent people, you actually blocked evidence from being revealed that would have freed them. And I am proud of that work. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, you owe them an apology. Are you not entertained? Oh my. Well, when you put it like that, you can't really be mad, Kamala, because you're just taking the words. You, I, I was the attorney, you know, attorney general, and I was proud of the job that I did. And she's quoting things that you actually did, so you can't really be mad at it. Good God Almighty, you sh see? You didn't learn from Tim Ryan. That was a problem. That was a problem. Tim Ryan tried that with Tulsi, remember? And then she corrected him. Then she, he wanted to become a Twitter gangster too and send his little goons after Tulsi, thinking that she was just going to stop. See, and she ended his career and you didn't learn from his mistakes. Well, Kamala, you have been the trending topic over the last two days straight, probably more than you were with Joe Biden in that little altercation. And you're on the wrong end of an ass whooping right now. Rhetorically, of course, but still on the wrong end of it. Whew. Hey, look, I love it. I love it. Thank you. We cannot pretend that these people who weaponize our experiences just to eventually use our experiences against us to play on the desperation and frustration of uh, people of color, women, people, you know, people who have been caught up in the criminal justice system, people who are suffering from health care or from lack thereof. You're not just going to sit here and play us like we're fools, pretend like you're one of us and then stab us in the back while smiling in our face. So I'm glad Tulsi's dragging her. And I hope she continues to do so. You know, since Tulsi's only at 0 or 1%, like Kamala said, and you shouldn't be bothered by it, Kamala. You just go on about your business. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to get all of our notifications if you like that episode of Mikasa Sukasa. You can also help continue to grow our show by donating to our Patreon and helping us hit our goal of 500 patrons. But remember more than anything else. Find your balance. Peace.